Hey guys, welcome back to another product opening. Today we have Lightning Overdrive. Now, these packs, which are four of them, these came from GameStop. And the rest of these right here came from Walmart. I'm always curious of which ones I pulled the best cards out of Walmart's packs or GameStop's packs. Guess really doesn't matter because it's all up, but figure I'd just see. So we're going to start off with the GameStop packs. Um, as you guys know, in this set they uh, have a bunch of good comments and they also have a Starlight Rare Black Rose Dragon. The uh, Maze Track cards are in this. And me personally, I really want that Starlight Rare Black Rose Dragon. I think everyone does. And who knows, I might get lucky. Because usually with um, blister packs, I get lucky with the Starlight Rares and Collector Rares, stuff like that. First we have Yama Mori. Or re okay. Oh, the corners damage, damn. Okay. Spring its brothers, more spring its support. Judgment of the branded. Scrap Raptor, everyone's new favorite common card. And the next card is a uh, Bujin Torifuni. Hmm. Been a while since I've seen some new Bujin cards. That's pretty damn cool. Bujin's getting some new support. Put that in the side right there. Spring its booty, everyone getting the booty. You and AI. Um, yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that one. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Cute, cute little guy. He's got a little Karibo flying above his head. Alright, next game stop now. Come on. What's going to get me? Dark Eye Nightmare. I like that artwork right there. Terror of the Underroot. Spring its Brothers. To Mary Instigator and Oh Ultimate Draconic Utopia Ray. Nice, we got the cover card, boys. Looks so awesome. Let's see. Three level five monsters. This name of course they will always be treated as number C thirty nine Utopia Ray. Once per turn when this card effect is activated, that targets this card or when a card is targeted for an attack. To effect, you can equip one ZY monster from your hand or deck to this card if it were equipped by this effect. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card to target a face of card your opponent controls. To the number of ZY monsters you equip this card, negate the effects. Nice. Uh oh, camera's falling. Camera's falling. Hold up, hold up. Why is my camera falling? Hold up. Jeez, Louise. Why are you falling? This is like the worst time for you to fall. Life. Oh, trying to get it right again. I don't know why it's falling. It never falls. Are you done? Okay. Jeez. Alright. Oh, we didn't even finish that pack. Sorry, guys. Uh, CS Arm Sage. Birth of Prominence Flame. One by one. Spring its booty. That's cool, though. We pulled the cover card. I like that. Next pack. Sorry about that guys, some uh, stuff happened. I had to pause it right there for a little bit. Anyways, now watch this one be the one that has the Starlight Rare in it and because y'all, I had to pause it, y'all didn't think I added it. Fix the Saber, AI Challenge You, Kurosawa, and no, ZW Draconic Halberd. Cool, I love the artwork. So awesome. World Soar Carbon, Basil Rose Shot, Spring It Da Booty, You and AI, You and AI are so constantly different, constantly different, You and I. Alright, come on, this one's going to be difficult opening. So we got. D 
DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Looks interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try to set. It's a cute little um, outer looking thing. A maze track, majestic, majestic merry go round for the new archetype. Cool. S4 stock tag, and the next card is a ooh, throne the disciple angel. It's kind of cool looking. If a monster was originally an earth fairy is sent from your hand or filled to the graveyard, except during damage ship, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect of disciple once per turn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Especially have like a drag down or something, you know. And there's the bear again. Sexual entrust and binary blade. That's pretty cool looking. All right, that's the Walmart. I mean, that's the GameStop packs and the GameStop packs we pulled. These three and the cover card. So that's a pretty good pull right there. I have no idea what he's worth at the moment. I'll check him out after the video. Now we have the Walmart packs. Let's see what we pull. Let's see here. We have Spring It's Brothers again. Judgment of the Pandit. Scrap Raptor. Salvin Daphne. Ooh. Stay Sailor Rom Mary. Or Marion. Huh, that's kind of cute looking. Plant Monster. ZS Armed Sage. Birth of Prominence Flames. I just realized that that's just that's what Endeavor calls his big old special move where he incinerates everything. It's pretty cool. One by one. Spring its booty. Alright, next one more pack. Give us something good. One curry way. Oh. Kind of cute but sad looking. Dark eyed nightmare. Terrors of the Underroot. Spring its brothers. And. Oh! Secret rare. War Rock. Mega Rogan? Mega Rogan? Nice. Pulled a secret rare. Maybe not the best secret rare, but still. Let's see for that too. And personally, I do like the War Rock archetype. I hate that they're not the best, but I like the way that they look. Everything about them. What do you do? Cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. So that's good. When the attack is declared, involving this card and an opponent's monster, you get to the opponent's monster's effects this turn as well as activate effects and effects of the field monsters with original name once per turn during the battle phase when your earth warrior monster battles quick effect you can make all war rock monsters you control gain 200 attack until the end of your opponent's turn also this can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. dude this might be the card war rocks needs to get over their little slump I think that's pretty yeah, that's a pretty good card. All right, let's finish off with the commons in it. We have Veronic Gr Guardian Speaks. I'm glad he got an update. He that looks so cool from the original. World Sorrel, Scream of the Branded, and Sex Soul in Trust. Next pack. Let's go, Yodo. Forget my dogs are being silly in the background. War Rock Generations. Boo boo game. Dog Mecha Calamity. A swing picks his twin saber and another stay sailor. Okay. Got two of those. Come on, I need some varieties. Hen Spring of the Far East. For our Guardian. SC Arm Sage. And UNAI. Come on, don't make me pull a place out of her right off the bat. I want others. Oh, come on. I don't want to mess up the cards. There we go. Why was it difficult? 
S4 stock tag. Starry Night Silly. DD, I'm not saying the whole thing again. Amazement Special Show. And, ooh, Amazement Attendant Comica. She looks adorable. Sweet. When this card is normal summon, you can set one attraction trap directly from your deck. Quick effect, you can target one of your attraction traps equipped to a monster. Equip it to one amazement monster you control. Face up monster your opponent controls. You can use this effect only once per turn. Oh, cool. Well, her effect. You, my friend, are going to get sleeved real quick. There we go. Nice. Pulls haven't have been the best, but haven't been that bad. I mean, we pull a secret rare from blister packs, which is really great because these are never guaranteed of what you're going to get. So far, the Walmart packs have treated me a lot better than um, the GameStop packs at this moment. <laughs> All right, let's see. Scrap Raptor, Boo Boo Game, Sylvain Daphine, Dark Eye Nightmare. And, ooh, Rock's Rose Dragon. Nice. Alright, yeah, a different super rare that time. That's cool. Burnt Guardian. Arm Sage. You and I. Let's be, come on, baby. Dark Eye Nightmare. War Rock Generations, Boo Gen Cascendants, Mace Track, and oh, Traps Tricks, Col <coughs> Col Airy. I don't know, but that's cool looking. The artwork just keeps getting better each set. I swear, even though there's some that have some really questionable artwork. Love the way she looks. Clock Arc. War Rock Big Blue, Screams of the Branded, and One by One. Alright, we're down to two packs. Let's see what we got. Come on. Got the uh, uh, Otter again. <laughs> Prison Caster, Starry Night Silly. I challenge you. Oh, it's a fusion card in it. Oh, what the hello? Albion, the branded dragon? Dude, he looks badass. Look at that. What is his effect? Let's see real quick. Uh, one fallen abyss and one light monster. I do not have that. I need that fallen card. If this card is fusion summoned from the... You can, uh... Fusion summon one level eight, a lower fusion monster from your extra deck, except for him. By banishing fusion materials listed from your hand, field, or graveyard. I mean, and or graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or set one branded spell or trap card from your deck. Please the effect of this card once per turn. Wow. That's pretty good. So when you bring him out, you pretend you can get a pretty much extra fusion summon. Acts as a living, breathing polymerization. You, my friend, are going to get sleeved up as well. Sweet. All right. Then we have um, Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol, Seagull, a Maze of Track Wonder Wheel, UNAI, and Hidden Springs of the Far East. All right, guys, last pack A lightning overdrive from the Walmart. Let's see what we can get. Come on, baby. Give me a song, give me a sign. Give me something good, give me something to be mine on mine, not be at your pick and call. The Otter, Perth, Starry Night Sail, I challenge you, and dang it. Oh, well, it's uh, super rare, but all of them are super rare. <laughs> No regular rares anymore. Amazement track, Precious Park. It's a field spell. Neat. Let's see. Arm Sage, Birth of Prominence, one by one, and Spring's Booty. Okay. That was pretty good. Alright, review over the 
gave us up one again. We pulled one Ultimate Dragon Dragonic Utopia Ray. We pulled the Throne of the Disciple. CW Dragon Halburn and Boo Jen Turfy. Hold up, move y'all butts out the way. Then from the Walmart side, we pulled Albarn, Trap Tricks, War Rock, and Amaze Lieutenant Cummings. Along with Amazement Park, Rock's Rose Dragon, St Sailor twice. We pulled her twice. So, that was a pretty good pull. We ended up pulling a secret rare from the blister pack. And three ultra rares. And from the ones I guess that we pulled one ultra rare. So, four ultra rares and one secret rare. And that's not bad. And most of them are pro. But I think most, all of these are the good ones from the pack. Except for the War Rock one. But, I mean, people want War Rocks to work. I know they do. And this card might help them out. I might have to get another one. Try running a War Rock deck. See how he does. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And please leave a comment be down below about what was your favorite card pulled in this set you saw today. Or what card you would like to pull in the set. And what do you think? Think War Rocks could become a good deck if they get better support? Let me know that in a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.